Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you are seeing the easy anti-cheat error, unrecognized game client, don't worry because we will show you some quick fixes that actually works so you can jump back into your game fast. Let's begin. Now one of the quickest way to solve this problem is by going to the game folder itself. Now in my case, I am having this problem whenever I launch the Valorant. So go here to the game folder and go to binaries because in the game itself you would have like several folders you have like content and binaries I want you to go to the binaries and delete the Windows or Win64 I want you to permanently delete that try to restart again and to see if that works now another option is I want you to go to the general settings and then go to the installed files from here there is an option that says verify this game's files are installed correctly you just have to click the verify integrity of the game files and what will happen is it will update on its own most of the time it will fix any problem in loading the easy anti-cheat setup another option that you can do is go to the installed files i want you to click the browse because that would forward you to the these team apps i want you to click on that folder and then I want you to click the common. Go to the games. For example, you are having problems with the easy anti-cheat on Rust. I want you to click on it. Click the easy anti-cheat folder. There should be a file or an application that says easy anti-cheat underscore setup. It is an executable file. I want you to right click on it. And there should be a, an option that says repair as service. What will happen is this will fix any missing or corrupted easy anti-cheat files all right so that's one of the easiest way after doing that you need to restart your pc and click the run as administrator okay and then another option that you can do is now while at it i want you to right click again on it and there should be an option that says properties and then go to the compatibility section and then you need to click the run compatibility troubleshooter all right because as you may notice if this program isn't working correctly on the version of windows try running the compatibility troubleshooter to see if that works now i want you to pay attention because you need to click this section right here that says run this program in compatibility mode for all these windows you have windows 8 until 10 or 11 and, and then you have the ability to run this as administrator you want to make sure to check that option or check that option and click the apply and okay another option that you can do is go to the services on your windows all right and as you may notice you have the services here i want you to look for the epic games or epic online services you need to do the same thing that we have done earlier right click on it go to the properties and you want to make sure on the startup you click the automatic delayed startup or automatic all right and then click the service starts click the apply and click on ok by updating your windows and drivers now if you are using nvidia you might want to go to the nvidia g experience and if you are using amd you might want to go to the amd adrenaline make sure both your graphics drivers are fully updated because outdated system files or gpu drivers can conflict with eac and cause the integrity violation error and that's also similar to the uh, windows you might want to go to the systems or settings and then there should be an option that says update in security and click the windows update similar to the gpu drivers make sure your windows updates are fully up to date all right of course, you can also try uninstalling and reinstalling the easy anti-cheat itself by going to the official website. And there's also an option here, as you may notice, that if you have any concerns about EAC, you can read through the support articles covering the most question and answers, all right? And of course, you might get some answers and troubleshooting steps from here. And basically, that's it for today's video. After all these steps, your unrecognized game client error should be gone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more quick tech fixes, and if you encounter similar problems or you want us to cover another solution, 
drop them in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.